another specs video this time on the Giordano Intrepid and also a new mic I have noise cancellation turned off it was kind of annoying me on the last specs video but I do have fans and my air conditioner going in the background I'm gonna have to make this fast because the new air conditioner as you know I got a new air conditioner here in the bike barn well it's not doing so well don't buy a refurb just FYI when it comes to air conditioners apparently Let's get to this Giordano Specs and then hang around to the end of this video because I have a special treat for those of you that like this sort of thing. So a treat at the end of this. But again, note that these are unofficial geometry specs. I'm doing the measurements myself, so give or take a millimeter here or two or whatever there, but I'm pretty close. And I've gotten pretty good at getting this accurate over the years. So here we go, Giordano Intrepid. And also note, if you're interested in the Giordano Valor, I have the unofficial geometry specs on that and official geometry specs on the Kent Truvail. They're very similar bikes, all owned by Kent. So let's get into the Intrepid here, starting with a couple of measurements that we already know. First is the head tube angle. I told you in my review video for the Giordano Intrepid, which I hope that you have already seen at this point, 66 degrees i suspect that this frame was made just like the valor and just like the truvel with the 67 degree head tube angle but the addition of that 120 millimeter front fork a fork by the way with the through axle if you didn't know big deal here for us big box bike shoppers but i think that extra 20 millimeters if you made a frame for 100 millimeters and you put 120 on it it would change it by about a degree so 66 degree for the head tube angle on this bike the seat tube angle just like the other two bikes, the Truvel and the Valor, 74 degrees. And we also already know the seat tube length, which is the frame measurement for a bike. This one is 16 and a quarter inches, which is 412.8 millimeters for our metric friends. And now the measurements that I took, starting with one that is way different than the other two bikes, the top tube length, I got 600 millimeters on the Valor, on the Intrepid. I'm going to have to edit in a correction here because I said the wrong number. It's 605 millimeters. I said this bike felt different. It was more comfortable for me than the other two bikes. I just fit well on this. The down tube also slightly longer, 735 millimeter for the Intrepid's down tube length. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that on camera. Oh no, save my Craftsman level. I don't want that to smack onto the ground. Okay, so let's get back to the measurements here. I have the top tube, I have the down tube, bottom bracket, 73 millimeters, the same as the other two bikes, also a sealed cartridge, an Echo sealed cartridge bottom bracket. Chain stay length, and that's from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the dropout. That is 437 millimeters, which is exactly the same as the Giordano Valor. Seat stay, 442. Now that's both the same as the Valor. So front half of the frame different, back half of the frame the same. Wheelbase, 1180 millimeters. Wheel spacing, 100 up front, 135 at the rear. And we already know the bars and the seat tube, 760, 30.4. And the stem, they state an official spec of 50 millimeters for this stem. But when I put my calipers on it, I get 42.5. So I don't know, and that's on every one of these bikes. So I don't know if you want to go down to 40 or up to 45. It kind of sits in that middle ground. So not the 50 that is stated from the factory, at least on the bikes that I have for these stems. And now to the reach and the stack you saw. My custom apparatus, the dilapidation happened on screen. Unless I cut that part out, but it did save my level. From hitting the ground so dilapidation still in frame but luckily i got the measurements before that happened stack 620 millimeters again just like the valor reach a bit different i get 437 millimeters now as i said you can give or take a millimeter or two or whatever in either direction and the reach on the valor i got at 440 but again as i mentioned for some reason, I feel better on this bike, so I'm thinking that three millimeters, the head tube angle, that may be why. You know what? While we're here, let's go ahead and knock this lower cup out and see what the measurement here is. I know what it is, but just show it on screen. 
55.6, so a ZS56 is what will fit this. And that is the Giordano unofficial specs video. If there is anything else you need to know about this bike that I didn't cover, or if you just have any questions or comments about the bike, hit me up in the comment section. I read each and every comment. I try to respond to as many as I can. And now, I promised you something extra. You're going to get a clip here of my second annual Kev Central Fireworks Show. First annual I put at the end of a video last year. And this year, I recorded the entire show. I was going to make a video exclusive to that. But I conducted a poll. 69% of you want to see the full fireworks show. I said to myself, 70 was going to be my cutoff. 70%. It was below that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the finale. The last two to three minutes of the fireworks show, GoPro laid on the launch platform looking up. It's a really cool view, sometimes partially obscured by smoke and definitely some crud building up on the camera. You'll, you'll hear the falling debris. But what I am also going to do, I do have my Kev Central Patreon page, which I haven't really done much on in quite a few months. It's just there for people that want a free sticker and also want to support the channel. I appreciate the 50 or so of you that have hung in there and have been patrons for Kev Central, but I was gonna abandon that because of the way Patreon is starting to do things, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to start doing more patron content, but I'm gonna do it in a different way. I'm gonna do some vlogs on Patreon, and I'm also going to show some scooter content, stuff like that on there. So at least something exclusive every month, maybe even every week if it starts to get more traction. But for right now, patrons will get the full 18 minute and I think 39 second Kev Central fireworks show, including a little lead up info. So I'll be posting that within the next day. For now, enjoy the finale. And again, if you have any questions about the Giordano Intrepid or the Valor or the Kent Truvel or any of the bikes that you see here on Kev Central, Comment with that in the comments. Oh, and also, let me know what you think about this new wireless mic, if that sounds any better. Have a great day.